up in the best way Hi, I'm Dave with Fastway Trailer. Today we have a great video for you. This is one that I've been wanting to do for a long time now. We're going to talk about the differences between leveling out your truck and a trailer when you're towing a heavy load with either a weight distribution hitch or an airbag system. There's a lot of talk back and forth in the industry about which one you should use and which one's better and what they do. So we're going to solve that mystery for you today. I have Jason Harper here. He's our lead engineer at Progress Manufacturing and we've got his equipment set up in his engineering test bay. So we're gonna go through the whole process to try to figure out the differences between using one system or the other. Hope you enjoy it. First, we move our test vehicle, a Chevy 2500 with airbags and our test trailer into the test area. Jason loads the trailer with the test weight and then positions it to get the thousand pound tongue weight we want to use. Jason and Matt recouple the truck and trailer and start setting up the scales. It takes a lot of measuring and adjusting to get each scale positioned correctly so that each tile will rest in the exact center of each scale, but this is important to get the most accurate weight. The scales wirelessly connect back to Jason's laptop. Once the scales are ready to go, the combined vehicle is driven up onto the scales and an angle gauge is set up in the center of the truck. With everything set up, it's time to shoot some video. The first step is to get our baseline weights and measures. So to get the baseline, we've got the trailer uncoupled. We've got tape lines set up on the front and the rear wheel well so that we can measure easily. Up here we've got an angle gauge set up on the tow vehicle. That'll tell us the pitch and the change in the pitch. We've got our airbags emptied down to their minimum pressure. And that's ready to go there. We've got scales under all the wheels on the axles of both the tow vehicle and the trailer. That'll give us the axle weights. All of that information will get fed back into Jason's computer here. So we can see what happens there. I think we're ready to go. Let's take some measurements. Our rear wheel well is resting at 40 and 13 16 inches and carrying 2,795 pounds of weight. The front wheel well is resting at 39 and 7 eighths and carrying 4,005 pounds of weight. Our airbags are set up to the manufacturer's minimum inflation of 5 psi. Our tow vehicle weighs a total of 6,800 pounds. The test trailer shows a combined axle weight of 3,785 pounds. And when you add the 1,000 pound tongue weight, our trailer for the test weighs a total of 4,785. Well, our, tongue we our baseline is set, so the next thing we've got to do is drop the tongue weight of the trailer on and take some more measurements. Now that we've added the tongue weight to the tow vehicle, here's what we're seeing. The weight on the rear axle has increased from 2,795 pounds to 4,020 pounds, and the wheel well height has decreased from 40 and 13 16 to 39 and a quarter. The front axle is now lighter, going from 4,005 pounds down to 3,675 pounds, and the measurement increasing from 39 and 7 eighths to 40 and a 16th. Our angle gauge is showing the rear of the truck angled down at about 0 .70 degrees. The overall combined axle weight for the truck increased from 6,800 pounds to 7,695 pounds, and that is a reflection of adding the tongue weight of the trailer. The trailer combined axle weight is now 4,000 pounds, which is up about 215 pounds. All right, we're ready to air this up and get it back to the original height. Forty and thirteen sixteenths. Get a ways to go. Okay, eighth, one eighth, sixteenth. Good. Just a little out. 
There, that where you were. That was the angle. So we've filled the airbags. We've brought the uh, rear of the vehicle back to the base height there. We're still showing that we're slightly angled down on our angle gauge, two tenths of a degree, and our Air pressure is sitting right at 55 and a half PSI. The rear scale is showing 2090, then the computer will add in the other side. It'll give us a total weight on the rear axle. And the front axle, we're getting about 1855, which will be added to the other side as well. Inflating the airbags up from 5 psi to 55.5 psi brought the measurement at the rear axle back to the baseline height of 40 and 13 16 inches. The weight at the rear axle is now showing 4,155 pounds, which is actually 135 pounds heavier than with the airbags uninflated. The front axle measures 40 and a 16, up 3 16 inch from the baseline, which is exactly the same as the measurement before we inflated the airbags and the front axle weight is now measuring 3,650 pounds, which means we actually lost 25 pounds here when we inflated the airbags. Overall, the front axle lost 355 pounds from the original baseline weight of 4,005. Our trailer axle weight is 3,910 pounds, so about 90 more pounds now being carried on the tow vehicle's axles instead of the trailer's axles. Okay, so we put the air into the airbags to try to correct the sag in our tow vehicle. We were able to get it back pretty much level again to the same pitch angle that we started with our baseline and we were able to get the rear wheel well up. So we've taken the sag out, but what happened with the weights on the axles? Right, really the problem still exists as far as we still have a possibly overloaded rear axle and we haven't given any weight back to the front axle to uh, increase the steering. So we're still going to have issues with our steering control and our braking control because even though we, we've solved the pitch and the angle and the sag, we haven't solved the weight issue. Is that correct? Right, exactly. All right. Well, let's try it with the weight distribution hitch and see what we get there. All right, let's do it. The first thing we have to do is let the air out of the airbags and get them back to the same PSI we started with for the baseline. Then we have to install the spring arms on the hitch and engage the weight distribution by lowering the tongue weight onto the tow vehicle again. Now we're back. We've got the weight distribution engaged and we're up off the jack so the tow vehicle is carrying all the weight. Our angle is now gone to about 0.25 so we're still angled down a little bit in the rear. The rear axle in this tire is showing 1840. And the front axle, 1990. Now we'll check the height. The rear wheel well now measures 39 and 9 16 inches, which is down an inch and a quarter from the baseline. And the front measures 39 and 3 quarters, which is actually down an eighth inch from the baseline. With the weight distribution engaged, our rear axle is weighing in at 3,650 pounds, an increase of 855 from the baseline weight. The front axle weighs in at 3,925 pounds, only 80 pounds lighter than the baseline. The angle gauge shows a slight tilt down at 0.45 degrees. The trailer axles have actually picked up some weight, coming in at 4,150 pounds, which is 365 pounds more than the 3,785 baseline. This is tongue weight now being carried by the trailer's axles instead of the tow vehicle's rear axle. Well, that's the results of our setup with the weight distribution hitch. So what are we seeing with the pitch of the tow vehicle, Jason? Well, with the angle of the vehicle, we've corrected that. Uh, we've got it back to a good right height, and we've also got the headlights pointing back down onto the road. 
So we solved the sag. That's right. And, and what's happening with the front axle? On the front axle, we've restored the weight back that we had pre previously taken away by putting the tongue weight onto the hitch ball. Awesome. And what's happening at the rear axle? And with the rear axle, we've essentially split that weight. We've put the weight back up onto the front axle and also put some back uh, onto the tra trailer axles. So when we, when we put the trailer on initially to get our baseline, we saw the front end raise and we added the tongue weight of the trailer and both of those additional weights ended up on the rear axle, is that right? That's right. And by using the weight distribution hitch, we've kind of pushed those back to where they're supposed to be, effectively putting the weight back on the front axle and we've shuffled some back to the axles of the trailer. That's right. Awesome. All right. Well, thanks, Jason. In summary, here's what our experiment has shown. Coupling the trailer counterbalances some of the weight on the front axle of the tow vehicle, and that combines with the tongue weight of the trailer to be carried by the rear axle of the tow vehicle. We get different results applying weight distribution versus airbags to level out the tow vehicle. With airbags inflated, the weight on the rear axle increased by 1,360 pounds. With a weight distribution hitch, it increased by 845 pounds. The main concern here is the possibility of exceeding the rear axle weight rating. Airbags do not increase the capacity, only the way the suspension reacts to the weight. The weight distribution hitch reduced the amount of weight carried by the rear axle by more than 500 pounds. With airbags inflated, the weight on the front axle decreased by 355 pounds. With a weight distribution hitch, it decreased by 75 pounds. The main concern here is the loss of steering control and braking ability caused by having less weight on the front axle. The weight distribution hitch kept almost 300 pounds more weight on the front axle. With airbags inflated, the trailer axle weight increased by 125 pounds. With a weight distribution hitch, it increased by 365 pounds. The weight distribution hitch is better at relieving some of the tongue weight burden from the tow vehicle's rear axle and placing it on the trailer's axle. Well, thanks Jason. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> Appreciate you coming out, taking your time, and setting up your equipment and sharing your expertise with us to help us see the difference in fixing the sag, either using the airbag system or a weight distribution hitch setup. If you like our videos, please subscribe to the channel so that you get notice of the new ones that we post. And follow us on Facebook and our other social media pages. You can join the conversation with us and we'll be able to get you entered in some awesome prize giveaways and contests and things that we do there. Thanks for watching. Not in the best way.